Hey everybody, Ed here, and today I've got a cool little diorama that I made to show off. As you can see, it's a goof and a gym. And uh, currently my rotating stand is broken for some reason. The little gear on the uh, inside part isn't working. So I'll just be rotating my, my little uh, work of art here manually for the moment. Uh, as you can see, again, it's a goof in a gym. And what inspired me to do this was my friend Connor had a leftover, uh, I wouldn't say leftover, but a pretty beaten down uh, Damashi goof. And yes, this is a Damashi goof. And again, some of you may be like, oh, God forbid you ever do anything custom to a Damashi, but I did, uh, and this is it. Um, and it was pretty bad. He, um, he attempted to kind of custom paint it, I guess you would say, and this, he, the end product was terrible. It was caked with enamel paint, and, uh, he, he regretted the decision, and he basically had a bunch of, uh, crappy paint on it. So he gave it to me, and he said, please fix it. And he gave it, he, and before he gave it to me, he actually put it in lacquer thinner, but he didn't thin it, so it turned out being super sticky, sludgy, melty plastic that slowly was uh, decaying, and it looked terrible. Let me, let me get an extra light on. There we are. You can see a little bit better. But yeah, essentially this thing was bad when I got it. Um, and he basically gave it to me and said, Hey Ed, work your magic, do something to it, make it into a diorama, make it a battle scarred, whatever you want. So, I did. Um, kind of just did my own thing with it. Um, from going bottom up for the base, I used a, uh, some sort of Naruto action figure base. And I used some earthy paints, and it looks really glossy, but it's really not. I don't know why the camera makes it look glossy, but it's not. And then I put some kind of earth green texture around it. And then for the goof, I uh, cut out several uh, chunks on him. But the hoses around his stomach, his hoses were missing. But I had two extra Zaku hoses lying around from the previous Zaku 1 custom we did, so I kind of shaped them to look like they had been snapped, and they were bent and kind of flying each way. Um, a little chip in his head there, and here he is cutting into a gym. And the gym was so hard to balance, but uh, eventually I actually glued the goof's arm into place, and uh, the gym part here is removable. You can actually take it off. Um, yeah, I trimmed the. Uh, I actually found this in a landfill. If you remember a couple. A couple uh, months ago I put a video up that my Gundam Age had found it in a landfill, but yeah, this is the gym that we found in a landfill, so we finally found a use for it. Um, yeah, I mean, the only way we could really do it was to get him, or well, I could really do it, was get him kind of balancing on that, and him kind of just cutting right through it, and you can see some of the orange paint looking like uh, scarred metal in there. And, uh, yeah. That was obviously the Goose Custom from 8th MS Team. But, yeah, that's, um, that's about it. <laughs> I haven't made a diorama in a while. Um, I do have some trees that I could put into one. And I do have a bunch of, uh, bunch of Battle Scarred MSAA, or, well, just MSAA laying around that are missing parts that I could definitely turn into something. So if you guys have any suggestions for, uh, dioramas or anything, or anything cool, leave them below. I'd love to uh, love to see your input and whatever you think of this, leave a comment. And yeah, you might be a little heavily battle scarred, but oh well. You live. Whatever. I think it looks cool. And I'll proudly have this displayed somewhere in my giant Gundam collection. But yeah, so again, tell me what you think of this whole uh, diorama thing. And leave a comment below, and I guess that's about it. So, I will see all of you guys on the next video.